Greetings again everyone, welcome back to my channel. Here we're going to solve x in this algebraic exponential equation where we have 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 60. So we're just going to have our solutions down below here. You can take the time out to pause this video and try this one out. You can also check out my playlist on how to solve other algebraic exponential equation. Now without further ado, let's go ahead and solve this equation. Now here where we have 3 to the power of x plus 1, we can simplify this as follows. So we could have this as 3 to the power of x plus in bracket 2 minus 1. And then we just continue by having plus 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 60. Doing this enables us to factor out our equation. You will see how we get to that in just a bit. So we have 3 to the power of x plus in bracket 2 minus 1. Now using the laws of indices, our law of indices states that if we have x to the power of m plus n, it's the same as having a to the power of m times a to the power of n. And now with the understanding of this rule, we therefore can write our equation as follows. So we'll have 3 to the power of x, we'll keep back the negative 1 here. And in applying our law, we would have times 3 to the power of 2 as a to the power of m plus n is the same as a to the power of m times a to the power of n so the same base we just rewrite it and just put the powers so we have 3 to the power of 2 plus 3 to the power of x minus 1 we have that equal to 60. now if you look closely you can see why we did what we did and so we can factor out our 3 to the power of x minus 1 so let's go ahead and do that so in factoring this out, we would have 3 to the power of x minus 1 in bracket. We would keep back our 3 squared, then plus. Factoring out 3 to the power of x minus 1 will give us plus 1. So we would have 3 squared plus 1. We have that all equal to 60. Now just to write out what we have here, we know 3 squared is 9. We have that plus 1 is all equal to 60. So we could just go ahead and add what we have in the bracket. And then we can simplify our equation further to solve x. So we could have 3 to the power of x minus 1 in bracket would have 10 as 9 plus 1 is 10. So we'd have 10 close bracket is equal to 60. Now from here we solve x by dividing both sides by 10. So we cancel out 10 on the left and on the right we have 60 divided by 10 is going to give us 6. So we have 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 6. Now from here we take log. So we take the log of 3 to the power of x minus 1. And we say that that's equal to the log of 6. From here we will be simplifying our equation using our logarithm rule. And we have a logarithm rule from right here that states that log x to the power of y is the same as saying y log x. Now in applying this rule it means that we would have x minus 1 times log 3 is equal to the log of 6. And from here our next step in solving x is to divide both sides by log 3. So on the left log 3 will be cancelled out and on the right we would have log 6 over log 3. Now we will be simplifying our equation from here. So we will take the factors of 6 in this case we take 3 and 2 as 3 times 2 gives us 6. Now from here we would say that x minus 1 is equal to the log of 3 times 2. So we will have log 3 times 2 over log 3. Now in simplifying our equation we will be using this logarithm rule where if we have log a times b is the same as saying log a plus log b. So we'll be applying this rule here in our equation. That means we would have x minus 1 is equal to log a, so log 3, as we say log a plus log b, so we'll have log 3 plus log 2. And since it's all over 3, we put log 3 over 3 and also log 2 over log 3. And log 3 over log 3 is a whole, so this would be 1 plus log 2 over log 3.
so in solving x we would have x is equal to so we would add one on both sides just to remove this negative one here so adding one on the left would cancel out the one and one on the right would give us x is equal to two plus log two over log three Now this is potentially our answer but we'll be simplifying this a bit further we'll be using this logarithm rule where we have log a over log b is the same as saying log base b of a so we'll be using this rule to simplify for our answer for x so then x therefore equals 2 plus log base 3 of 2 Now let's verify our solution for x. We said that x is equal to 2 plus log base 3 of 2. So let's rewrite our equation. So we said that 3 to the power of x plus 1 plus 3 to the power of x minus 1 is equal to 60. Now that we have the value of x, we'll be plugging in the value of x into our equation and see if it is true. So we'll have 3 to the power of x, which is 2 plus log base 3 of 2, and then we would add our 1. So 1 is here, so we'll just add 1. Then we move on to saying plus 3 to the power of x again, and we know that x is 2 plus log base 3 of 2. And then we go ahead and subtract our 1 as we have it here in our equation. Now looking at our index, we can just simply simplify by adding the 2 and the 1 together. So we have 3 to the power of 3 plus log base 3 of 2. We then move on to saying 3 to the power of, we add our index again, so we have 2 and negative 1, so that's going to be 1 plus log base 3 of 2. And we have all of this again equals to 60. Now from here we will look at laws of indices, where we have 3 plus log base 3 of 2. Here we also have 1 plus log base 3 of 2. So we'll be using laws of indices again, where we say that, a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So therefore from here we would have 3 to the power of 3 times 3 to the power of, as we say we would have the same base, so we would have 3 to the power of log base 3 of 2. Then we go further by adding that to 3 to the power of 1. So we have 3 to the power of 1 times 3 to the power of log base 3 of 2. We have all of that equal to 60. Now to solve 3 to the power of log base 3 of 2, we use our logarithm rule. Where it states that if we have a situation where we have x to the power of log base x of y. And if you look here, we have the same base the answer is going to be y. So what this means is that where we have 3 to the power of log base 3 of 2 in both situations, the solution would be 2. So then continuing from here with this understanding, we would have 3 to the power of 3 times, as we say, we have the same base, so the answer is 2. So 3 to the power of 3 times 2 plus, you can also put these in brackets just to avoid any confusion. So we would have plus 3, as we know, 3 to the power of 1 is just 3. And we just have 3 times 2 is equal to 60. So from here we have 3 to the power of 3. And 3 to the power of 3 means 3 times 3 times 3, which gives us 27. So we have 27 times 2, which you can put those in brackets. We had that to 3 times 2, which gives us 6. So we have 27 times 2 plus 6 is equal to 60. We have 27 times 2 gives us 54. And we would have 54 plus 6 
equals to 60. And now look, 54 plus 6, we know that 54 plus 6 gives us 60. So our solution for x is now verified. x therefore is indeed equal to 2 plus log base 3 of 2. So our equation is both solved and verified. Thanks again for staying with me to the end of this video. I hope this was very informative and very helpful. Please like, share and subscribe to my channel for more updates like this. And until then, take care and I will see you soon. Thank you.